Okay, as we all know, people should tell you that we cannot factor the expression x squared plus y squared. And I agree with them, but that's only true in the real and polynomial world. Today, if you're willing to get into the complex world, or maybe the non-polynomial world, we can do a lot more. Let me show you how. Let's take care of this in the complex world first. So x squared plus y squared. Unfortunately, we don't have a nice formula for this yet, but we do know the following. Today, if we have the difference of two squares, namely if we have a squared minus b squared, of course we can factor this out nicely. And the answer to that is just a minus b times a plus b, like this. And this is very nice. Well, let's see, we have x squared plus y squared. Okay, let me just write down the x squared like this. And in order for us to use that, we have to have a minus in between. Okay, let me just put a minus. And everybody knows, a negative times a negative is equal to a positive. But I know, negative times i squared will also give you a positive. And the reason is because we know that i squared is equal to negative 1. And now, with the i being involved, we are in the complex world. So, keep this in mind, i squared is equal to negative 1. And as we can see, we can still just write down the y squared. And this is still the same as that. And the beauty of doing so is, we can see the first term is x. And put a parenthesis around it, and then square. So now this is much fancier, and this is minus. For the second part, we put a parenthesis. I can put the i and the y inside, and then I square that. Very nice. And now this is our a, and this is our b, and we can just use the formula. And to factor this, the first factor is just x minus i y. Huh, i y, cool. And then the second one is x plus i y. And that's it. So this is the answer in the complex world if we want to factor x squared plus y squared. Now, you can give a short look into algebra, you know, like that. See, we we'll just give the algebra sure look at this. Thank you so much for designing the t-shirt. Thank you. You know who you are. Thank you. Okay, now let's take a look of this one right here. When people say we are going to factor, usually we want to just keep in the polynomial form. Namely, the power of the x should be past the whole numbers, or maybe just zero. So this is not possible if you want to keep it as polynomial. But as I said, if you're willing to use some kind of square roots, it's actually possible, let me show you. So let me write this down again, x squared plus y squared. But again, we don't know about this too much, and I don't want to get into the complex world for this one. So let me use another one right here for you guys. This is actually what we know much better, and we would like to see if we can draw any kind of connection. All right, now let's see. We have x squared plus y squared. Wouldn't it be nice if we have something in the middle that will actually help us out? What do I mean? Well, let me just put this down right here for you guys. Suppose today we have a squared, and if we have plus 2ab, haha, this right here, after we add a b squared after that, we know this is just nicely equal to a plus b squared. Very nice. And with that said, as we can see, this right here is a squared, and this right here is a b squared pretty much, and now we just have to put the middle term right here. So let's go ahead and make that happen. Now, here we have x squared, and let me just put a plus 2ab, and of course in this case the a is the x, and the y is the b, right? So we can just put down 2xy, and we have the plus y squared after that. That's very nice. But of course, this is no longer the same as that. It's okay, because we can just go ahead right here, and then put down minus 2xy. And now you might be wondering, why don't I want to use the minus version right here? If I have a minus version, this will be just a minus b and square. That's also possible, but I really want to use this one because now I'm adding here and I will have to subtract this. You will see that the first three terms here will give us a perfect square. Namely, we have x plus y square, like this. And then for this one, because we have the minus in between, so let's put that down. And yes, you guessed it. We can use the <laughs> difference of two squares to help us out. And in order for us to use that, be sure you open the parentheses, put a square on the outside. Now, what to the second power will give us 2? And the answer to that is square root of 2. Good. And what to the second power will give us x? And the answer to that is square root of x. 
And of course, I can just make the square root longer and put the x inside. And lastly, of course, same speech, we'll put the y inside, like this. And when we are looking at square root of 2xy, unfortunately, this is no longer a polynomial, so people don't usually do this when they are talking about factoring x squared plus y squared. And now, of course, we can just apply this right here to help us out, and we will see this right here is just x plus y, and we will just have to minus this part, which is square root of 2xy, and that will be the first factor. For the second factor, it's pretty much just x plus y, and we add square root of 2xy. And guess what? We just factor this guy in the real world, but unfortunately, this is not in the polynomial world. But it's still legit. So, hopefully you guys all like this video, and let me show you guys. Okay, for the people who like math and science, let me tell you guys about Brain.Work. This right here is an interactive learning website that focuses on problem solving. And as you guys can see, they offered daily challenges for you guys. And these questions are really fun and really interesting. You guys will like them too. And because I have their annual premium subscription, I actually get access to their archive questions. So let me show you guys this question from a few days ago. This geometry question. And the question is, which one is bigger, the blue region or the green region? Well, you guys can try this on your own, or you can just click on keep reading, and it's going to show you guys the strategy. So, the way to do it is, if you draw a vertical line right here, which is a common strategy in solving geometry question, and now it should be clear that this and that are the same, and this and that are the same, and of course, the <laughs> blue portion here is the same size as the green portion. So the fact is, okay, they have the same area. And now based on that, can you use a similar strategy to solve this challenge? And I'm going to leave that to you guys right here. Which area is bigger, the yellow one or the red one? And of course, you guys can come here and choose the option. And after you guys finish it, you guys can click on the quiz right here. And you guys can continue learning like this. And if you guys would also like to get their premium subscription, you guys can use the link brilliant.work slash blackpinkrepen. This way you guys can get a 20% off discount for their annual premium subscription. And you guys will really enjoy their courses. Thank you guys so much for checking them out, and thank you guys so much for watching the video. I am a algebra finisher. <laughs>